Hi, good morning. So the purpose of this today's video, right, is just to do a quick sharing of uh, comparison between the 99 years project versus a freehold project. Now, why this? Uh, why am I doing this uh, video, right? Is because I got a very uh, interesting question from a friend who asked about um, Penrose and Noma, which is launching at the same time, and um, he's questioning that, hey, how come a uh, Noma is uh, spell, uh, selling at much lower per square feet as compared to uh, previously quoted Penrose? Uh, some of the agents are quoting it. 2007. So he's, he's saying that it doesn't it make sense uh, to actually buy uh, Noma versus a Penro because Noma is freehold, you know, freehold uh, tends to be performing better than uh, um, this uh, so called uh, 99 years property, correct? So traditionally, this is what we have the mindset and the mentality to do that. Lah. So uh, today I just want to do a quick sharing uh, to show you some of the key findings that I have. Um, if you are seeing my screen, it probably just take some time for it to load. Uh. Okay, so I did uh, same internet, uh, same uh, research findings and uh, uh, comparison for the past projects that is happening in District 14 um, using Sims Urban Oasis. So Sim Urban Oasis right, is a project that is launched a few years back. And um, I did some research to try to find um, similar freehold properties around the vicinity that is launching around the same time. But um, uh, to be to my surprise, uh, it's quite hard to find a very good uh, um, trend comparison for you to take a look. So after uh, uh, trying to matter matter for about half an hour, this is the so-called the best result that I can show you lah. So you can see right now over here, this is a Sim Urban Oasis, which is what we are using for comparison as a basis. Huh? So Sim Urban Oasis is a 99-year leasehold. It's launched in um, July 2017, if I'm not wrong. Uh, then it's recently already TOP. Uh, people are already staying in it. Uh, developer, I mean, uh, investors already start to rent it out. As compared to Galimat Suites and Cube Suites, right? These are all, these two are freehold uh, developments um, very near to uh, Sim Urban Oasis. In fact, if you take a look at the map, right? Um, this is where Sim Urban Oasis is, right? Just right over here, Sim Urban Oasis. Then uh, further down is the Galima Suites and the uh, uh, Cube Suites really, right? Uh, Galima Suites is over here. Hey, sorry. All right, Cube Suites is uh, somewhere here. Lah. There's too many projects here already. Okay. So as you can see, right, when I click on the, I just do a very quick comparison, a very um, broad-based uh, kind of compare. When I click compare, right, you can see the trend line. Uh, since the start of uh, 20, July 2017, right, until now, uh, you can see there is a very beautiful trend line that is appearing for Sim Urban Oasis. All right, you can see in terms of growth rate, the one in orange, average pricing, right, it has growth about 13%. All right, in terms of average pricing, uh, over a period of about three years. Okay, as compared to the one in green, which is uh, Golimat Suites. You can see that the average price, right, in fact, is actually a negative of minus 9%. Okay, so this is all being pulled out from the charting. Uh. Uh, so I didn't uh, do any uh, um, tweaking or any uh, funny things behind to massage the numbers or manipulate the data. This is as per what you have been seeing. Okay, how about uh, Cube Suites? Okay, uh, because of the low volume, you can see when it first launched, right, Cube Suites is launching at how much? One four. Average at one four five eight ah. I think this is uh, being triggered ah. Uh, I don't know what happened. So you can see that the performance of a freehold, um, especially uh, freehold smaller apartments uh, versus a ninety nine years uh, big developments condo right. You can see a very beautiful trend line that's happening already. So right now this friend of mine is asking, hey, should I buy Penrose or should I buy Noma? And I think Noma as of point of this recording, there are still some more units for sale. Then uh, I just want to share some um, insights, lah. I share some opinions of mine is that why such things is happening is because the buying behavior and the demographic of these two projects are very different. Um, 99 years condo versus a freehold apartment. Now, people who are buying into Geylang or uh, District 14, right, their mindset is uh, more towards investment, towards holding on for long term. All right, versus uh, if let's say people who are buying into Sim Urban Oasis, probably these people are the young families, young couples, and also a good mix of investors. They are buying into this project, and um, because it is a 99 year lease, they do not 
tend to want to hold this property for long term. What, what I meant by long term is more than 15 years. So you will see that there is some trading activities going on. And that is the reason why you can see Ben Rose, right? No, not Ben Rose, sorry. Sim Urban Oasis is having some this kind of uh, uh, charting to show. Lah, right? You can see there's very good movement uh, all around throughout, throughout the past few years. Okay, so uh, my dear friend, if you are watching this, um, Noma or Penrose, I think the answer is very clear already. Lah. So uh, I hope this video it helps you. And then uh, if you like this video, you can uh, feel free to share it with your friend. All right. So that's all for my um, sharing. Just a quick sharing today. Lah. So just to give you some understanding at the same time, uh, do a sharing with my viewers as well. Okay. Thank you and goodbye.